yesterday, I should say, April, on April 14, 2014. I listen to one voice over the airwaves after another. Echo what I hear from folks out in the day-to-day who say the job is forcing them to act like robots, i.e., that we're being sped up, which is the concrete illustration It concretely illustrates the point Wallerstein's making. That even as the earth resources available to the rulers are shrinking, or perhaps because of that fact, power's unconscious agents, the bosses, are determined to extract even more out of us, determined to get every last bit until all the life of the planet has been spent. I listen to folks say, in essence, But this train called class called just sit back and enjoy the ride and let the big boys, the important ones, drive is rolling downhill and it's got a speed to it. The story in which they ride our backs that they call progress was written by Powell who then strangles all of his stories, cuts them off at the path as Plato instructed. It's the fact that they had a story, a plan, That made them powerful because it meant they had certainty and to move forward with conviction. We cannot get free unless we deeply believe that our happiness is the point, our reason to be. Our babies come to show us that and we give them our backs because our parents turned their backs on us. It's time to trust. Trust that while our parents did their best, they've been misled by an authority utterly illegitimate. It's time to trust those toothless smiles our babies give us. Trust the flight and song of birds, the lolling sound of the useless waves. It's time to trust that joy is our birthright and must always be the core of the new story we write. The story that is the opposite of power. The story that is the spirit that guides the shapes we create to further our lives, our love, our good fellowship. It only takes a few to begin to make this world based in trusting our bodies true, in putting that first, based in letting our joy live. It only takes a few, and others will come to it. It only takes a few, and we're already many. It's many of us who trust that all these years we were misled when told our bodies were meant to serve them. When the truth is the opposite of this. We're meant to serve our fellows and our happiness. It's not the earth we must save. It's ourselves. Just put that first. And the earth can take care of herself. Consider the untold billions slaughtered in service to the fantasy of rule of a system of rank and control by the few. In the shadow of that mountain of death, we can't truly imagine we're not yet ready to live. 